the student, high school student came in and, you know, he said, you know, but while your work hits on all the issues that are relevant to communities, you know, low-income communities, you know, people in those communities already know what the issues are. You know, we don't need people to come back and tell us what the issues are. We already know. We see it. We live it. It's like, if you're an artist and you're creative, why can't you create some kind of solution? When Project Row House, we, this neighborhood was reborn. It was reborn, because all of these houses was drug infested. And when they took over and did what they did, it just opened up. It, it, you know, it was just like a new day. You know, it was, there were those tough periods though when like, you know, maybe one weekend there would be 25, 30 people. Then the next weekend you show up and there's like, well, there's me and Jesse, you know, or something, or me and Bird or something, you know. But there was still this sense that, you know, this thing's gonna happen. Last night we were working, people are walking up and down the street, you know, somebody's on a bicycle, dogs are barking. It's a different kind of setting. I think just daily people walk by and they'll have accessibility to art. The people in the neighborhood were really great um, and it's like when you open the doors people just come through and I guess they're used to walking through but it's so easy for them to walk through too and they just talk to you. Okay, thank you. We could possibly think of the world as this big sculpture in that you know it's being shaped all the time. If we're careful about how it's shaped, we can determine, you know, what it looks like.